Have you ever wondered why we usually see more bad news than good news? A few scrolls on Facebook, and what do we see? A terrible accident somewhere in the city, humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, and the COVID-19 pandemic. All the scary headlines just chase it everywhere. And is it not the case that there is not anything good happening in the world? We still see kindness here and there, but somehow we seem to be surrounded by all the bad news. The reason behind this is because we are affected by something called the negativity bias. Negativity bias is a notion that things which have more negative nature have greater effect on people's psychological state than neutral and positive things. That explains the reason why bad news get our attention quicker and also sticks in our mind longer than the good news. But what's the origin of negativity bias? In fact, it's an instinct that we inherit from our centers. Our cavemen and centers had to deal with many dangers. At that time, being sensitive to the slightest threats and remembering frightening experiences were crucial to their survival. But our present life is very different from the life in the prehistoric time. Modern life puts a lot of pressure on our mental health. Toxic contents, fake news, and the negative stories make it difficult for us to see the good around us, and the negativity bias make it worse. Is there a way to help us avoid the negativity and live a better life, you might ask? Fortunately, there is. Even though we cannot get rid of the negativity by us, a trait that has stuck with us for thousands of years, we have a way to reduce the effects of toxic information on our thoughts while remaining alert to the environment around us. First, we need to understand the bias and acknowledge how it can develop in our thinking and decision making. We need to focus more on positive side of life, interact with optimistic people, and choose to consume the contents that make it happy. Another thing we can do is pay attention to our own mentality. In 2011, a study conducted by Kaiken and Sok found that practicing mindful breathing could increase positive judgment and engage higher levels of optimism. Now you understand more about negativity bias and how it affects your thinking. Take a look at the event in your daily life and carefully assess their nature. You will, probably, find that beside all the bad news, there's also a lot of good news out there waiting for you to celebrate. And nothing can make your world shaken as long as you maintain your inner peace.